Doctor Who star Matt Smith is on a mission to find the bed of his dreams, and rumour has it that he's after a waterbed. So, <laughs> would a waterbed make waves for you ladies? Is it enough to float your boat? No. You know, I, I, I can't, I couldn't go near a waterbed ever since I saw Sherry on Coronation Street when, the, when it burst. <laughs> yeah. There's just no way I, I couldn't handle it. But, um, no, actually, my brother has a waterbed. Well, in, in, in his house in, in England, he does. Um, and I did try to sleep on it once, but it is, it's just, it, to me, it's just not comfortable. Yeah. It, there's too much of that. You know, you feel a little bit, you feel a bit seasick. That gorgeous. Don't, didn't it? I don't, I don't like it. Didn't I, it make you not want to have a wee all night? No, it didn't. No, because you can't hear the water. You can't hear, you know, if you hear running water, it does make you want to That's go to the a, toilet. But I, but I did. I could hear sloshing. I was slept in one. <laughs> it was obviously leaking. <laughs> like a jack-in-the-box I tell you it was the most disruptive night sleep ever because all I thought was oh, oh I can hear it I need to go again you know it's, it was no, awful you couldn't hear it. no I think, they've, I think they've changed <laughs> I can honestly <laughs> remember in the I can remember this in the 70s going to some bloke's apartment flat whatever and he said look what I've got and I saw this round wobbly jelly thing <laughs> <laughs> that was the bed <laughs> <laughs> in satin sheets that I just thought, oh, oh get me no. out of here. Quick. And I ran away. Oh, I think I might have married him. <laughs> imagine. Where are some of the worst places you've slept? Well, I've got to say, you see, I always kind of fancied a waterbed. When I was younger, I thought a waterbed, but then I thought we might drift apart. <laughs> um, anyway... Where are some of the worst places I've slept? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not sure I can say on daytime telly. Um, worst place... Well, you know what, you see, I've, I've said it before. When I was born, and for a good many years of my life, I, I was put in a drawer. Um, because there was no room for me and they had no money for a cot. So, bottom drawer as well, not even top drawer, but I, I did sleep in the bottom drawer. It. I think they probably did shut it. And I think that's where all my problems I stem from. <laughs> Um, Do you cover your bed now? Is it one of the most important no, you know, purchases well, in your home? Well, you know what it's done for me. It's, um, it's, I can sleep anywhere in the world on anything. Not oh, with anyone, not but me. on Jealous anything. Of that. I think, yes, I, beds I are can, very important. But I have, you know, at home, because that is where the majority of the time I do sleep, then yes, I've bought, I've made sure I've bought, I've bought one of those mattresses that folds to your shape thingy. Oh, yes. And, um, and it's fantastic. Memory foam. Yes. Yeah. But I've gone even better even than that. It. I've got yeah. two mattresses. <laughs> so it's a, it's a double bed, but it's two separate mattresses, so there's none of that tipping over in the middle. You've got one of those, like, And it goes up and down. And, and I have around. to tell you, me and Mr Spain on tour, we were in this chain of hotels, which obviously had a job lot on the bed, so every night it was in the middle of the bed. So we got home last night, and he went... <laughs> he went up, and I went down, and I got... <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the bed, <laughs> and it's got this vibrating thing. So I had that <laughs> sort of <laughs> happiness is all. Do you know what? Do you know? I, I, the, the thing is, the older you get, the more you spend on your bed. Don't you? On your back. It's true. <laughs> the the she only... has got the most expensive one. Yes. The older you are, the more you're on your back in your bed. <laughs> It takes a long time to find the right bed. Yeah, it does. It no, does. you can. We, I, I went and bought a mattress, and it was it was it was quite expensive. In fact, it wasn't. It was very expensive because um, I thought I deserve it. I spent a third of my life in there. You know, a lot of time. So I bought the mattress, and I just didn't get on with it. But luckily, the shop I bought it from, they change it. I don't know what they do with the old ones, <laughs> but they do. They change it up to 28 days or something. That's so good. so I swapped it for for one that I like. Now I can't get out of it. I do everything in it. What was wrong with it? Oh. It was too soft, yeah, um, and I just can't do soft. It's like it's the princess and the prince. It is. <laughs> the older you get, the harder it should be. Yes. <laughs> and there's another one of life's important <laughs> lessons, ladies. OK, it's competition time once again, and this week you could walk away with a fat... <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> oh, with her going up and down, and her one in a hard one, well... Um, you could have a fabulous 15,000.